Hi, Skip George, and uh, back with the Postural Restoration Institute. Now remember I was talking about being able to transition from a left turn to a right turn back and forth. That's called reciprocating and alternating. Just like we learn in our basic courses, our primary courses, skiing is just like walking. So when I started yesterday's video, I talked a lot about AFIR, being able to get out of right AFIR into left AFIR and back and forth, reciprocal and alternating. You'll notice that I ended yesterday's video and I said left and right F-A-I-R. And so remember that in the pattern, your pelvis is oriented to the right. Where the diaphragm goes, the pelvis goes. This is why your left turn going down a ski hill is easier than your right turn. Your left turn, you're dependent upon right mid stance. You're dependent upon right AFIR. But in addition to AFIR, there's a superimposed component of FAIR, or femoral acetabular internal rotation. And so the reciprocal and alternating factor of skiing is being able to go back from right AFIR and FAIR, go to the left side, get an abdominal wall, get your diaphragm to dome into a COA, so you can go into left AFIR with FAIR. Now, what are some of the practical applications in terms of PRI techniques? Well, for one, if I'm going down a ski hill, I want to be able to flex forward. I want my knees to drive forward into my boots. I want my hands to go forward. I want to go into a normal thoracic kyphotic curve with ribs that are in internal rotation. One of the things I do before I go skiing, instead of a standing wall reach, for instance, I don't have a wall behind me, but I'll just get on my skis, exhale, get my glutes and hamstrings firing with my IOs and TAs, hay hooks, as James Anderson says, and simply breathe to prepare myself for performance. Another thing I like to do is make sure that I've got a left hip capsule, posterior hip capsule, that is not restricted so I can get into left AFIR. So I might just do a little bit of a hip capsule stretch. And remember, mechanics with skiing are just like walking. And so remember that you're dependent upon a hamstring to get a pelvis to go from being anteriorly tipped to going into extension, hamstring and glute, sagittal plane. You're going to need an anterior glute med, an IC adductor, abdominal wall, and then be able to facilitate and inhibit right to left side. Those are some PRI principles that you can apply to skiing. I love a right side line, left adductor respiratory pullback. For my skiers, make sure, uh, for your skiers as well, that their Haruska adduction lift test is four to five if possible. If they're a performance skier on a ski team, make sure you have a five on your HADLT. So those are just some of the few points with being able to start with a neutral pelvis, reciprocate and alternate, and get down the hill in a more balanced fashion. Take care, and the last video I'm gonna shoot is we're gonna talk real quick about falling.